Hey everybody, it is Wednesday. I'm on my way home. Feeling miserable again today. Um, I'm wondering though if I'm feeling bad because I started this diet and it's just going to take me a little bit to get used to it or if I feel bad because I feel bad. Uh, I haven't really figured it out yet. But I've stayed off the sweet tea, and um, that might be part of why I have headaches, because I'm not getting any caffeine now, so I'm off the sweet tea, no candy, um, that was the biggest problem, a um, woman that sits next to me at work always has a bowl full of candy, and over there four or five times a day, grabbing a handful of candy with some cut in it, so I ate all my banana chips in three days. Um, I gotta, I gotta get to the point where I don't know. I'm, uh, it's not like I'm bored at work. I have stuff to do, but I just get hungry throughout the day, and so I'm gonna have to figure out something that's really low calorie that'll fill me up. Uh, I tried doing the whole chugging water thing, and it lasts for about 30 minutes, and then I'm hungry again. So. Eventually my body will get used to it, but it's rough. It's not easy, that's for sure. But I'm sticking with it. This is day three, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, I feel like I didn't get any sleep last night. I went to bed at about 10.45. I didn't get up till 8 this morning, and I was actually on time because there was no traffic, thank God. Um... But I don't know, I don't feel like I got any sleep at all. I feel so miserable right now, all day. Um, we had a big meeting today um, with pretty much everybody in our division. And um, I was, they were explaining some kind of software thing. And I was sitting there thinking, God, I should have just went home. I'm about to fall asleep. It was so boring. Um, but the rest of the meeting was okay, and I stayed awake. You know, I stayed awake for the whole thing. I didn't fall asleep, so I got close. Though, man, I was tired. And you could probably, if you've been watching my vlogs for a while, you can probably tell by my voice that I don't feel good. Because I can even tell listening to myself that I just I sound run down. So I'm hoping it's just something that I've got or an allergy or something. And we're supposed to get a bunch of rain coming in tonight. It's already starting to cloud up pretty good. Um, if that'll happen, if it's allergies, it'll wash it away and I'll wake up in the morning and I'll feel great. If it's the diet, I'll probably feel bad until like Sunday or Monday. Um, and then I'll start feeling okay. But it's, it's tough being on a diet. I didn't realize how tough it would be. I mean, I was trying to lose weight um, after my neck surgery in 2004 and I was doing actually pretty good with it and um, but you know back then I was still drinking a soda a day and then of course I flipped that over to drinking sweet tea then and, um, and, and the occasional root beer and it's just like that's why I wasn't losing any weight. I was pretty much just doing like an Atkins thing and just eating steak or chicken or pork and then maybe like potatoes or maybe green beans uh, or maybe carrots for dinner and that was it. And, uh, and you know, I lost a little bit of weight but I wasn't exercising other than going to physical therapy for my neck, so. But I'm hoping if that's what it is, I'm having headaches from caffeine, caffeine withdrawal, and um, I'm just feeling run down because my calorie intake has dropped. Um, hopefully that's all it is, and it, it blows over pretty quick, and I don't have, like, I'm not getting sick. I feel like I'm getting sick, but I don't have a stopped up nose, no congestion. But every morning I wake up with a sore throat and I just, I literally feel like I've been drugged all day. And I haven't taken anything. I took some vitamins last night and I think I might have taken an allergy pill last night. But, I mean, it, 
which all that stuff should wear off fairly quick. I mean, the vitamins aren't going to cause me to feel drowsy all day. And I even had these energy burst things, these all-natural things. Um, somebody at work gave me, and it's supposed to have a bunch of B12. And I'm still, that's probably the only reason I'm able to drive home. Um, because I was so sleepy today. And I'm still... Like, if I start to get really sleepy, I'll just pull over and call somebody to come get me. Like, that's how bad I feel. But I think it'll be alright. Um, not much else going on. Um, nothing I could think of. Our, our big boss told me today that, um, I had applied for a couple of permanent jobs. And he said that if I hadn't heard anything to email this woman and let her know that I haven't, I haven't ever been interviewed... Uh, nobody's contacted me to tell me they're not interested or whatever. So he said that, you know, employees of the company, you know, and, and other divisions or within our division that want to move up to that position or contractors that have been there is what they want. They don't want to go looking outside of the company for people they already have. They can bring people into my current role a lot easier than it would be to bring somebody new into this other role. So... I emailed her today, and hopefully we'll hear something. Uh, but I'm going to have to definitely shave and get my hair cut. That's for sure, because if I interview, I don't want to look like a slob. I mean, I want to be able to, to get this permanent job. Um, what else is coming up? Today? Um, this weekend, we're going to the volunteer fire department in the next town over. They're having their fundraising thing for the year so I think we're going to go I don't know, they're going to have a bunch of crap food like fried chicken and stuff like that so I kind of want to go but I kind of don't because I, I want to stick with this diet as much as possible so we'll see and then coming up next week I'll be going to my normal office for a couple of weeks until we get caught up with everything because we fell behind and um Next Wednesday night, I have a ukulele lesson, Guitar Center, which should be fun. And then next weekend, I have a double date. Uh, me and my wife and then our roommate and her boyfriend are going to go to this painting class. And they give you, they kind of teach you a little bit about how to paint. And then they give you, like, what you're going to paint. They give you a canvas and it's basically, like, marked in half. And then you're... You paint one half, and your significant other paints the other half as you're as you're going. And it sounds like a lot of fun, and I've painted before, so. Um, but I mostly do like abstract stuff, so we'll see. Um, forgot what she picked. I, I tried to get her to pick the Picasso because that would be closer to what my style is, but um, it doesn't matter. It we're going to do it to have fun and to be together so that's what's important Ugh, I like really am so miserable right now I don't know what's going on I'm like so ready just to go home and go to bed but I got a craving for breakfast for tonight and I don't know if that's going to happen I said that last time though and it happened so who knows I might be able to talk them into it but uh, I mean you can't beat eggs and toast and hash browns and a waffle for dinner man that's if I had to have one dinner before I was going to die it would probably be breakfast so like for some reason I was on death row and I got one last meal uh, it, I always thought oh I have no idea what I would pick um, I would probably pick breakfast man breakfast rules unless I wanted to be a jackass and order a bunch of sushi which is my favorite food food well second favorite food my favorite food is steak so anyway that's all I got for today because I'm not feeling very good uh, and I'm stuck in traffic which isn't making me happy I want to go get home as quick as I can so um you guys have a safe Wednesday night. If you're in Texas, there's bad storms coming. There's one I read about already up north, uh, up towards the Red River that they already have a tornado on the ground. Um, 
this is around 6 or so, and it's 6.30 now, so hopefully everybody up there is safe. Um, so be careful tonight with all this bad weather, and I'll see you tomorrow.